Well, I'm here at the Storytelling Centre in Edinburgh. We're announcing the second uh, Book Week Scotland. It's going to take place from the 25th of November to the 1st of December. The first Book Week Scotland was last year. It was very successful and we had uh, 20,000 people involved in events, 30,000 school children involved and of course we produced a, a book that 150,000 copies of stories about Scotland and places in Scotland um, that were distributed all over but it really helped inspire people to rediscover reading. I think anything that gets people reading, but the great thing about this particular version of it, it's also getting people writing. And a good way to understand the way literature is composed by actually to try to do it yourself. A lot of people are scared by writing. They think that you have to have a special kind of gene. Um, but all writing is, is the kind of talk we do in our head actually transmitted onto paper or onto a screen. And I think that this book we, it encourages people to read but this year it's going to get them to think about something very important to them and and try to imagine their emotions about it onto paper or onto screen that's very liberating that's a brilliant idea this year's theme we can announce is treasures and that means that we're encouraging people to write about something an object that's really precious to them i i've chosen a small red shoe it's my daughter's first shoe that she ever wore when she first learned to, to walk. Everybody can write about something they feel strongly about and a precious object might encourage more people to do more writing and we're encouraging people so we can put the stories online. So that's part of the participation um, of Book Week Scotland and I'm delighted that Creative Scotland and the Scottish Book Trust are working together to deliver the second Book Week Scotland. The book I think is probably the most important cultural transmitter ever invented. Um, it also gives you joy, it gives you escape. I mean, you forget yourself, you forget your troubles. You don't get addicted to it in a dangerous way. A book addiction does not give you lung cancer, um, but it gives you endless miles of joy because our libraries are full of things and the thought that you need never be bored for another minute in your life because there's a book out there just waiting for me to read it. Dive in.